Okay, let's try this again because I forgot to hit the record button before. Okay, for our eyes today, we will be using Regal, we will be using Flirty, we will be using Sassy, and we will be using Sexy. For my eyebrow, I will be using Infatuated. For my eyeliner, I will be using Devious along with a liquid liner. And of course, for my lashes, I will be using the Yonique 3D Lashes. Keep in mind, I have tons of brushes because I've been doing this quite a while. And some of my brushes right now are wet and being washed. So those you will not see me use today. But these are the colors that I would be using for my eyes. Okay, so I already have my one eye done. And we're going to go ahead and do the second eye now. The first color we're going to be using is Flirty. And we're going to just take Flirty and go ahead and just put it right on the lid. Just like that. Okay. Our Flirty's done. Maybe add a little bit more. Okay. So the flirty's done. Now we're going to take my favorite color, which is the regal. We're going to take the regal and we're going to go ahead and just put the regal up and into the crease. Using a crease brush, of course. And then after the regal, we're going to go ahead and grab a shadow brush with sassy on it. We're going to take sassy and we're going to go right above the crease line of the regal. Okay, and then what you want to do is just blend it in just a little bit so it's not as harsh of a line. Now, we're going to take that sexy and go ahead and put the sexy up on the brow bone. And then also right here in the corner of your eye, just to get a little bit of a highlight. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and grab some more of the uh, sexy. Just blend it in just a little bit more. Nope, nope, nope. Just kidding. Actually, sorry. <laughs> My mistake. I needed the sassy. Okay. Sassy is the color I'm mixing in the middle, not sexy. Okay, so we'll do sassy. Go ahead and hit up that regal just a little bit. A little bit more of that purple pop in between. Okay. So that's what your pigment color is going to look like before you go ahead and blend it out. Okay, so awesome. this is what the pigment looks like. What you're going to do is you're just going to grab a blending brush and you're going to just go ahead and just blend it just a little bit. I like to use a larger blending brush, which is my personal preference. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go and pause the video and do my liner and then I'll go ahead and show you when I start doing the uh, devious. So just go ahead and give me a second. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and take the devious go right over my liquid liner to set it in. A little more of the devious. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you the last step. First, 
I'm gonna go ahead and add my mascara. Just whatever kind of mascara you decide you like to use. Okay. Then, got my Unique set right here. So first I'm gonna go ahead and take Transplanting gel. And just put it all over. And of course on the bottom too. Then I'm going to take the fibers. You want to do this pretty fast so that your transplanting gel does not dry. Okay, so once you have the fibers in there, what I suggest you have is a lash comb brush. That way you can separate them if they didn't go exactly how you wanted before you go ahead and put the sealing coat of the transplanting gel. Okay, now personally what I do, for the extra little longer look, is I actually go ahead and hit it up one more time, just right here in the corner with some more fibers, and of course my lash comb for evenness. And then, the transplanting gel to go ahead and set it. Okay, now that my 3D lashes are done, this is what they look like. The last thing that I had said that I was going to show you guys was to go ahead and get some of this infatuated, and I like to get my eyebrows to where they're just a little blended in and even. I'll go ahead and just add some of that infatuated in there. My hair is a black, dark, dark brown. So what I choose to use is the infatuated, which is more of a brown, to try and just even them out. And then, of course, I take my comb brush, which also has a brush on it. And Unique just came out with their own version of this. I just don't have it yet. And there you go. Okay, so I used the Touch Foundation, which I do after my eye makeup. I know it's a little odd. Then I took some of this Heartbroken, and I went in with my lips. I filled them in with the heartbroken and now I'm just gonna take yes I know pigment on your lips I love it love it love it I can have whatever color I want filling it in with some of the gloss and doing this a little rushed got a kids teacher parent appointment but this is the final look with my heartbroken lips Here's my eyes with my fabulous 3D fiber lashes and the amazing colors, which I will list below. Thank you for viewing my first YouTube video. Hope it wasn't too horrible, and I promise that um, I'll take requests and make more. Thank you.